guys, welcome back. I just got back from bar. I go to bar every single Monday and it was really good workout today. Like I feel like I was like really feeling the burn. So I'm just about to take some of my vitamins and I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and then I'm gonna get ready for the day. I have been really wanting to start getting ready every single day because I feel like it'll make me more productive in my work life. Like I feel like when you get ready, it just feels a lot more productive than if I sit around and just like don't feel cute, especially with the job that I have. I do try to like film content as much as I can, like on TikTok and stuff, and I just feel like I'll be more wanting to film content if I get ready. And it doesn't have to be like full makeup and stuff, just like pulling myself together, putting on a nice outfit, showering first thing in the morning. So that's my goal for the week. I'm gonna make like avocado toast with eggs honestly again because it's like the easiest thing. I also have some frozen sausage, so maybe I'll do some of those, I really like those. And yeah, it was a really good start to the week of workouts because I love going to a workout where I feel like it's just like really low impact, low intensity, but I still feel it. But I'm not like dying or like really sweaty. It doesn't take a bunch of my energy for the day. So I highly recommend trying bar. It's a workout that I never thought that I would like, but I feel like when you try new things, you'll really surprise yourself what your body really craves and stuff. And also like different instructors too. The instructor that we go to is so hardcore and she's just the best. So it's always a really good start to the week. I'm excited. I'm also gonna write out a list of everything I have to get done for the week. And yeah, just kind of like kick off the Monday. So breakfast, get ready, plan the week. And then my mom's also here and she leaves at three today. So maybe we'll like go to the beach really quickly or something before she leaves, have lunch. Not really sure, but I'll take you guys around with me. I think I'm gonna do a week in my life or like a beginning of the week vlog and just kind of see where the vlog takes us. So welcome back. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. I feel like I never really say that, but it does really support my channel. And then also comment what you guys like to see, especially like in the vlogs. I know that a lot of us like like day in the lives, week in my lives, weekend vlogs, but what's your favorite thing to see in the videos? Is it recipes, workouts, just the day to day like chats, outfits, things around Newport? Just let me know. But I'm gonna make my little breakfast real quick. This is my current favorite almond butter. I really like it just because it mixes really, really well. I find it doesn't like separate that much and it's only raw organic almonds in there. And then I also really like this cinnamon by Frontier Co-op. It's a really high quality cinnamon, oh, which actually makes a really big difference. And cinnamon is really good for you. So I'm gonna put some cinnamon on top. Okay, perfection, my little patties, almond butter sourdough toast. And then I'm also gonna make myself another coffee right now. I made one really quickly this morning, but I like to have one with my breakfast. Okay, we're back in my little OOTD spot, but I wanted to share the outfit that I'm wearing because it's kind of cute slash casual. So starting with the top that I'm wearing, this is from Revolve. It's actually a knit sweater, but it's super lightweight. And then obviously the back is completely backless. So it's been pretty hot. I couldn't wear like a full sweater today. So that's kind of my medium. And then I have my Target bangle on, some glasses from Amazon. My earrings are Lisa Goslin and then these sweatpants are from Free People. And then I also have on my 112 sneakers. These are Lily and Andy's actual sneakers that they created in Italy. So they're really, really high quality. And then to match the sneakers, I'm gonna hold this Songma bag. Songma is sponsoring today's video. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this bag, but I've been wearing it pretty much every single day. It's the perfect everyday bag because not only can you wear it as a really pretty shoulder bag, like a baguette bag, but you can actually change it and really easily take these straps off and attach these two handles and hold it as a clutch, which is really cute. And you can also do the shoulder strap. So they have another long strap that goes all the way across and you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can put this strap through and hold it as another variation of a clutch. So it's a super, super versatile bag and that's why I got it because I really wanted a white bag for all of like the bridal festivities and bridal looks. I feel like between the bachelor party, the honeymoon, all of that, I really wanted a nice white bag that I could wear all the time. 
and I feel like that's exactly what this bag is. Just from getting it, I've been wearing it every single day. My favorite way is definitely just the most casual as the shoulder bag. And what I really like about this bag is that they have genuine leather. They also have different colorways. They have faux leather and they pretty much have every single style that you could want. So I went with this one just because I felt like it fit my personality best. But yeah, they have a bunch of different options. So you guys can check them out. I'm going to put their link in the description. They actually gave me a code, which you guys will get 12% off, which is a really good chunk when you're investing in a really nice bag. So I just want to say thank you again to Sogmont for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my face is so red because I just went to spin. I woke up at 7 and went to Patrick's class, which was really fun. And now, ah, now Hunter and I are going to go to the beach because it's such a nice day out. Like, it's super sunny already. It's only 8. And Hunter actually woke up at, like, 5 for a meeting. So, technically, it's already pretty much his lunchtime, so he can take a little break. And we don't want to miss out on it because it's actually going to be raining for, like, a week and a half. Oh, which we love the rain, but... Might as well utilize like a nice morning. We're gonna take Coco, you guys can't see her. But we just put like her leash and stuff on, which if you guys have a dog or at least like a silly dog, you know that can be kind of a struggle. So I already put that on. Thought I would wear my 112s hat just because my hair is disgusting. I feel like I've worn a lot of 112s in today's video. But yeah, we're just gonna run there. I should probably grab a jacket because even though it's sunny, it's still always gonna be cold by the water just because there's always like a nice breeze today i need to put back together this room we had the bed out for my mom when she was staying here we have like a collapsible bed frame so like when we have guests it's like they actually get a bed and then we have an actual mattress that we bring out for it we recently got a storage unit so it's been nice to actually be able to store things and like actually bring out a bed when family comes and visits so yeah just gonna have to put that back together I feel like our house just needs like a little refresh of cleaning today so I'll probably do that because I finished most of my work yesterday at the beginning of the week like Sunday and Monday and now it's just like the rest of the week because it's the end of the month it's like posting a lot of the work that I've done so like a lot of the filming that I've done I have two YouTube videos going up before tomorrow so one today one tomorrow my podcast tomorrow some ads and stuff before the end of the month but like all posting them because I already filmed them which is kind of nice I kind of like the end of the month just because like I don't feel like I'm like running around hectic. I just, I don't know, it's like the more chill part of the job. So that'll be fun. Here, let me get a treat. You know what to do? Good girl. Yes. Can I have a paw? Good girl. Wait, wait. Okay. Good girl. <laughs> so many smells. I just got home from the nail salon actually. Hunter ran to the grocery store for us because honestly, I'm exhausted today. I filmed a workout for Instagram. I recorded my podcast, edited my podcast, got that up, made the graphics. Hi! For the podcast Instagram, just did some editing, stuff like that, emails, and now I'm extremely tired. <laughs> and Coco is barking. What? You want to say hi? Ouch. <laughs> just stuck on my Come here. Come here. Hi, Susie. She doesn't want to say hi. We are going to do a really fun dinner. We're going to actually do like a noodle bowl, which I'm really excited about because I've been really wanting to try. Ah! We've had these before, but make these lotus rice ramen noodles that we have. I thought it would be really good to try it in like a bowl with meat and not like a soup. We've only really had that with ramen noodles. I just grabbed some cheese. It's going to need a snack while I cook, but... I want to add some broccoli in it, maybe a bunch of vegetables. I have this coleslaw mix, which I was actually going to use this as like a mango taco topping, but we never made the mango tacos. So we're going to do like a salmon rice noodle bowl and see if it turns out really good because I think it will. And I'll film the recipe for you guys. My little tripod. Actually, I've been really really liking the recipe content like specifically watching it so if you guys see a lot of recipes on my page just know <laughs> kind of in my cooking era hopefully you guys like the recipes but it's just my favorite thing okay this is my favorite cooking oil by graza i'm just gonna do like two tablespoons in there then we're gonna add onion Too much. 
This is the garlic that I'm going to use, and this is the ginger I'm going to use. So you want to keep this moving or else it can burn. I'm going to do about two to four tablespoons, I guess, of this barbecue, and then about one tablespoon of this tamari. Oh, I'm out of it. Cool. And then I'm going to top it with some salmon. Good morning, you guys. I'm picking up the camera for the first time today. I woke up, went to yoga, and I also did some shopping just because it's Hunter and I's seven year anniversary. And I wanted to get him a present, but I can't say what it is because he's literally in the next room, so I'll put it on the screen. It's nothing that he's been wanting for a while. But I also just opened this package from Princess Polly, and I thought I would show you guys because they're actually coming out with activewear, which I think is really cute because I feel like I get a lot of really good basics from Princess Polly and their materials are really good. They always have the really cute styles. So I'm excited to see just like how their activewear evolves. This is like their first batch of activewear and I'm really impressed with it. The material is really soft. I really like that they're ribbed. These are the shorts. It's like a cream color. They have pockets. I feel like these are also a really good length. Sometimes I feel like with like new workout set brands, they don't really put effort into like making sure that they're actually functional. And then this is like a long sleeve square neck workout top which I actually don't have anything like that so I'm really excited. I took my normal size so we'll see how that goes. I'm probably not going to wear that in this vlog because this is going to be the last day that I filmed today and I already worked out so maybe in my next vlog I'll test that workout set out for you guys. I also got a workout set from a brand called, um, I think it's called The Movement and it's a small business so they sent this over, really sweet of them so I wanted to give them a shout out. I think that it's like a woman-owned business as well, but I'm pretty much just gonna do some cleaning around the house. Oh, I forgot to say. The workout set also came with this Princess Polly headband, but I actually have a bunch of cleaning to get to today. I really want the house to be nice for the weekend because it's our seven year anniversary. So we're gonna try and treat this weekend like we're on a trip, like just do as many fun things. We have an entire weekend of like date nights and stuff planned, I'm really excited. So we're gonna start with some laundry, I have some towels to do, I'm gonna do the floors, clean the kitchen, all of that. So I thought that why not vlog for another day because I love watching like organizing stuff. And I feel like when I watch someone else clean their house, it reminds me to clean my house and it gives me motivation. So hopefully this will do the same thing for you. Okay, you guys, this is kind of a random project that I wanted to work on today. I pretty much have this bag that I've had for like probably six months now. And I sometimes use it when I travel, but I've been needing like a really big bag that I can like take pretty much everywhere with me, like a purse, because the really big bag that I use right now, let me show you this one. I think I might've been vlogging last year when I bought this bag, but Anyway, this is like my laptop work bag, so I don't like bring it with me if I'm gonna go. So I'm still gonna use this bag for like if I go work at a coffee shop or just like to store my laptop and stuff because I feel like it's nice to have a work bag, but then also have a personal bag. So I thought I would fill up this bag with just things that I would like normally use in my purse and just use this as my everyday tote, which I'm excited about because I kind of forgot that I had it. I think it's the cutest bag. It's the cutest color, cutest shape. It has a zipper so it's structured and I usually use this when I travel so I kind of forgot that I could use it as a tote bag so I'm going to fill it right now. I will put on the screen the name of the brand. I literally still have the tag on it. Highly, highly recommend. I've used it many times traveling and I feel like it really is the perfect size bag and the perfect structure. AirPods. This is a little travel bag that I have with some sunscreen. I feel like this can go in there. I feel like my journal should not be in my bag. I'm gonna put this at my nightstand. Highlighter. This is my microphone for when I wear my mic for workouts. I'm gonna put all of the content stuff in this front compartment and then all the beauty stuff in the back compartment. And then like snacks, sunglasses, little hair stuff will go in the middle. And then that's obviously where I'll like hold my phone, my keys, 
So that's how I'm going to organize it. Together. I have the car bag packed, and then I really need to wash this bag. It's really bad. It used to be my beach bag. It's been like everything. <laughs> so, pack that in there. Perfect. All right. Random, but I feel good. I am actually just letting my hair air dry right now because we're gonna go on a date tonight and I wanna curl my hair, do my makeup, and actually get cute just because I feel like I've been kind of like in sweats and stuff all day long. And we're gonna go watch some sunset at the beach. It's our seven year anniversary, so it's kind of kicking off our weekend to celebrate our anniversary, which I'm just really excited because it's a fun thing to celebrate and it's our last anniversary being boyfriend and girlfriend because obviously the next anniversary we're gonna be engaged, but, or, <laughs> We're gonna be married, which is even crazier than being engaged. And I can't wait for that. So, I just have on some PJs. This is an Aritzia sweatshirt. I have a Princess Polly like t-shirt on underneath and then my skin's PJs. I picked up really yummy, these little desserts. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so there's a bakery in Laguna that we used to live by and it's called Giselle's. They have the best stuff. I actually got my birthday cake. Well, my aunt got my birthday cake from this bakery. She found this bakery like four years ago when I came and visited her because she lives in Laguna. And then I kind of forgot about it. I didn't really realize that they made like everyday stuff. I thought they just made like really big cakes because my cake was like a huge cake. Um, but then I saw like Sydney Adams posting about it. I saw them at Erewhon and they became this like huge company that makes like single serving stuff and they have like protein bars it's all gluten-free, refined sugar-free, soy and corn-free. I don't know, you guys know I eat all that stuff, but just the bakery in general is really, really good. And if it can be a healthier dessert, and I love it just as much, like that is actually pretty exciting to me. So I got a bunch of stuff. We'll take all this to the beach tonight, try them all, and just have a cute date night at the beach. We also have a little like picnic basket type thing that we'll bring. George Washington and I'm wearing this inside out. Oh my god. We're a hot mess. We are hot Oh my god, I'm cold. Oh my god. That was like the worst night of the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> to go to the beach. Oh, to the beach. You thought I was saying night in general? Yeah. Guys, please don't go to the beach when it's freaking 50 mile an hour rain. I mean wind. <laughs> wind. If it was rain, we would have actually like died. We made the decision to come to the beach instead of getting in and out first, which I'm very happy about because if we would have gotten in and out first, like we would not have been able to eat it. Oh, that would have sucked. That was literally crazy. Yeah, it was so windy. My hands are numb. <laughs> I'm gonna insert a clip of Hunter. <laughs> His entire outfit was like, was he was like, babe, babe, look. <laughs> oh my god, that was really funny. It was fun though, but very cold. I'm so grateful that I bought, brought a second pair of clothes. Bye to my nice hair though, but at least we're going to spin in the morning, so it doesn't really matter. <sighs> we're gonna go to in and out we're gonna get both of our regular orders, and then we're also gonna try the Flying Dutchman because it's been all over everywhere, and we've never tried it, but I feel like I wouldn't want it for like my actual burger because I like the bun. Yeah, you know? me too. But I'm excited to try it because a lot of people really like it. I really like onions, Hunter really likes onions, so I feel like we'll like it. I just don't think it's like the typical order we would get. Mm -hmm. But you have to try it, and we haven't tried it, which I'm really surprised about. We haven't really been on our in and out game. I, I feel know. like. Been locking. Have we? Well, you got it after your thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, last time I got it, but other than that, it's been a while. So we'll let you know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> 